Here are 10 of the most interesting bugs that have been fixed in this 8.0.9.0 release as well as the one feature that was added. Now before I tell you what that is, any guesses on what that new feature is? Feature 12090 is the introduction of French language support. Now I know whoop de doo is what most of you are probably saying, but the platform is already jam-packed and there isn't a lot of features missing. Now there are a couple, don't get me wrong, there are a couple of features that are missing. One of them is a price line and the other is a news marker. Um, and the third one, actually we're going to be releasing a tool on that that you can get from our site xabcdtrading.com so be sure to slap the subscribe button and stay informed of what's happening with all these new releases as they come out for both nt8 and the little add-on features that we're filling in the gaps on now let's talk about the 10 most important bugs in total there were i believe 78 bugs that have been fixed we're going to talk about the 10 most important ones so starting with the market analyzer bug number 11958 was fixed which some indicators didn't have the option of which options to actually plot so if you were using our pattern tools you'll know that this has no effect because we plot our data in a more effective way with a greater performance but if you were using an indicator included in the platform like macd some options were not available to plot but they are now and that issue is now resolved now sticking with the market analyzer, if you have clickalitis and you start clicking around like a madman while the market analyzer was linked to a chart, you will see some fields are not going to get updated in your market analyzer correctly and that issue has been resolved as well. So looking at the bars on the chart, okay, there were two bugs. The first one, 11634, that was resolved. Uh, it did resolve some scenarios that resulted in a cache data error that you might have seen. Okay, this is huge because we've heard from a lot of people who have actually hit this. And now they'll have it fixed and they won't be seeing it again. So this has actually been resolved. And while we're still talking about the bars, the second one was 11916. Okay, it found that bars would no longer snap when anchor points were actually moved off the chart. Okay, this has now been resolved. Now, if you're wondering what this pink line is, you might want to download this free tool that we have on our website. It adds in a price line on your chart. So this can be added for the bid price, the ask price, you have them both on there, or the last price. And having those lines just show your spread or just current price is really handy. It's totally free. You can get it at xabcdtrading.com. Now this was an interesting one, but the data in some scenarios with the combination of the PC's time zone and the chart type could actually result in the cache data not matching historical data. Okay, but not to worry, this has also been resolved. Now do you trade with Forex.com? Those of you who do, you'll be glad to know that bug 12008, where some scenarios when an order could actually get an error saying that the results were invalid, okay, this has now been resolved. If you have not watched our video on Z orders, we'll link it in the description, but bug number 12067, where some situations had a larger Z order value uh, in their in their settings were actually ignored. Now this was fixed, okay? Z order tells you how far in the chart uh, or how far behind the chart to put an object. So for example, a high Z order means that it would show you the object in front of the candlesticks where a negative Z order number means it would be behind the candlesticks, okay? In our latest release, you can actually control where the patterns are gonna be, if they're gonna be printed in front or behind. So for this, this was actually a pretty interesting bug um, and uh, it has now also been resolved. Now, I'm not sure how many of you guys would actually hit this bug. I just thought it was kind of humorous, but 11942. So editing the description field of the Forex instruments resulted in an error, but this has now been resolved. Now, if you watch some of our past videos, we do this whole tutorial on alerting in NT8. And one of those alert conditions is to play a sound file. Now, what happens if you select that sound file and then you actually delete the file, but it's still configured within NT8? This was throwing an error and NT8 wasn't handling it. It does now. So we can now say this issue has been resolved for bug number 12074. 
Now, I never noticed this last one, but if you had, I'd really appreciate it if you put it in the comments below. We just had a couple questions, but bug number 12026 says that charting drawing objects on your, your actual chart, so any drawing object, whether it be a circle, a triangle, whatever it is, anything that's drawn on that chart, okay, would actually change when the chart time was shifted. Now, I never saw this, but I'm glad it's resolved. If you had seen this, Go ahead, just let me know in the comments below. It'd be really interesting to hear how many people actually hit that bug. If you want to stay up to date on what's new with the Ninja Trader, uh, what's coming out and what has been fixed, make sure that you do subscribe to our channel as we'll be keeping you informed as to what's up to date with them as well as um, you know a lot of how-to videos that we do with NT8 and showing you some of the software that we have that scans for patterns in case that interests you. So go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you watching and we'll talk to you soon.